So here I am getting ready to build a road and I wanted to, you know, put in different blocks. So I can do it like this. Oops, I messed up. I better go change this to something. There we go. And it, we could do it this way. Minus the slime. Or I finally decided that it was time to build a tool that can do this for us. And so what I designed here is I designed an auto mouse scroller. So now we just place whatever block we so choose to place. And you can set the speed on how fast you want it to go. Like for example, let's speed it up. And now you see how fast it's going. So there's you know, endless possibilities with this. And I designed it, made it all for free. You know, it's open source. So if you're interested in using something like this for your system, then this would definitely be awesome. Now this is not only for Minecraft, but any application that you may have. See how quick and easy that was? Alright, and then just stop it. We just bring up the application. Now let's bring the application over. It's this really lightweight application here. And all you do is you set the scroll per second. So if we want to do what I did originally, you select the current process, it'll list every process that you have in your system. Mine just happens, my Minecraft on my systems, Java, Java W. And then just simply change your application. And it kicks in. And to simply stop it, just bring up the application when you're done. Simple as closing the application this way or closing the application this way and that's it and then that way you have the auto mouse ability on any any application that you feel that you need it so let's go over a few things here let's start with where it's actually located I have it on the github here and the link will be in the description and this is the application file here so you can download the file and compile it yourself you're more than welcome to contribute and advance it and then also we have another place that we can if you're not into using github and you just want to use the application directly there's a link provided right here in the readme file and you can just copy and paste that link up there and then it'll take you to the file and just click download this file put in a captcha click the download button if your thing shows that it's you know, cat or uh, it gets caught by the antivirus. You can always do that. Let's move this to the desktop. We'll start it up. Run anyways, and there it is again. So let's just double check, make sure it's still the right one, and it's still going to work. 
when you type in use the active job the active search for it and then we bring up this and there we go again and to stop it go back to it and close it out but I hope you find this as helpful as I am um, I'm about to start my next finish the rest of my video and thought that I would release this tool before I do so uh, please leave any comments or issues that you have and I'll try and get them addressed as soon as possible thank you for watching